Before I wrote Kampong Spirit, I was still in UK, so I wrote a book called Frog Under a Coconut Shell, which is about my mum. She was undergoing, uh, she, was, she had Alzheimer's and she was getting ill. And I didn't want a, a book that's all depressive about her Alzheimer's only, so I took her, us back, the reader back into the time when she was young and beautiful, and that was in, during the days of the Kampong. So when the book came out, it, it sold very well. And readers wrote to me, an email just came in at that time, all from all over the world. People said, we want to know more about your village, you know. But I didn't want to sort of focus too much on my family, so I decided to write Kampung Spirit. And uh, this book is actually about the Kampung itself, rather than, and, and my neighbours, but not so much about the family. So I thought this will satisfy the reader about what the village is about, but not so much about the personal stuff. So, and I was so lucky that it was nominated for the uh, Singapore Literature Prize and won it. So, I'm very lucky. So, I will read this little uh, uh, extract because I wanted one modern day uh, Singapore young people to know that education was not free for most of us. Most of us were not educated in the kampong. The majority of us didn't ever get to go to school. I didn't get to go to school. I think I was only about, still seven and still not educated. And in my next book that is coming out for the children's version, I will talk about when I first saw a Milo tin and I, I couldn't read the words and I started to cry. And I said to my mum, I wanted to go to school because I can't read. They were just like squiggles, worms, you know, not letters. And my mum said, we don't have any money. How can we go to school? So, but she thought about it and she thought, yeah, it may be a good idea because my brothers were educated, but not me. And my mother had 16 children, you know, which eight died. So we were very poor. And she said, OK, maybe if I sell nasi lemak, if you're really interested to go to school, you can go around the village and sell nasi lemak. I make them. And I, that is what I did to get to go to school. So this extract that I want to read also has a little bit about uneducated kids in school. Because all the children in Singapore nowadays, they automatically go to school. So they don't even think that 50 years ago in Singapore, it was such a terrible situation. So many uneducated girls in the kampong were still subjected to arranged marriages. As soon as they become, became teenagers, their fates were sealed. That was why I was so grateful that my mother had fought for me to attend school. Otherwise, my fate would have been like theirs, although my father still threatened to marry me off as soon as I was eligible. But like Parvati, I had planned to run away if my father forced me to marry except that I did not want to hurt my precious mother. What are hembrols? Fatima asked when she heard that Julian, Dick and Anne, the English children in the uh, famous five stories, ate hembrols and drank ginger beer. She was a Muslim and proclaimed that she would never drink an alcoholic drink like ginger beer. And weren't Western children liberal to be drinking beer at their age? She, like Parvati, did not go to school. Of course, I hadn't a clue either, but I did not want to look stupid. Well, I suppose it's some kind of meat, I said. Hmm, chicken is from hens and the beef from cows. So I guess ham must be from hamsters lah. Hamsters? What is a hamster? Fatima wanted to know. Ah, yeah, kind of animal that live in England lah, I said. So that just was to give my idea of the, my two friends, best friends, Fatima and Parvati were not educated. And so we didn't know what ham rolls were. At that time, we couldn't eat anything from cold storage. And the English people used to have ham rolls and stuff in their, in the, at the uh, top of the hill, which we call Atas Bukit, the black and white houses. So we used to go and look at all the food that they had from cold storage. Cold storage was the first supermarket that was open then. Yeah. So I hope that suffices.